we're in eastern Nebraska. Eastern Nebraska. We're in eastern Arizona. And we want to welcome you to Hubble Trading Post. So you're more than welcome to roam the grounds here. We got our churro sheep in the back. We have our chicken coop here. We have our blacksmith shop here. We have our two-story barn. This was the most talked about barn in Arizona because it was the only two-story barn in the Southwest. So everybody knew about this barn here. We have two retired park horses here. We have our trading post here, which is still original. It was established in 1878 and it's still an active trading post. So visitors like yourselves are able to go in and participate and observe and trading trading of Native American goods, which is still going on to this day. So you're more than welcome to roam the grounds. And if you have any questions, you can ask here. Awesome, super, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Creaky floors here, huh? I just wanted to make sure it wasn't my knees. Hey, what's your name, man? Alonzo. Alonzo, yeah. I'm Randy. Pleasure to meet you. This is the Ganada Red. Each one of these rugs in here has its own story. Wow. Just like your vlogging, each one has its own story. Like this has some World War II in it. Uh, so my family. They grew up and they're like, we don't want you to learn Navajo because we feel like there's no use to it. Really? Like no use in learning Navajo. Didn't they have like pride though in their ancestry roots and that's to problem, preserve right? it a little bit more? But that's, your that's your a, folks didn't feel that way. Uh -huh. So it's every tribe. Every they're tribe. like, you're American, still speak English. Yeah. That's all you need to know. Pretty much that's just the way it, it's being looked at. Right. right? Eat, like, eat cheeseburgers, yeah. eat pizza, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, I think by coming here, I'm able to learn more. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. Were these all made by hand then? Mm -hmm. How long would it take, Alonzo, roughly to make a rug as beautiful as this? It, it, it just depends because this is only 20% of the work. The other 80 is uh, raising your sheep, shearing the sheep, cleaning the wolves, carding, spinning, gathering all those vegetal dyes, like I was saying, the plant dyes. And see, that's just so foreign to someone in our society today because we just go to the fabric store and pick mm -hmm. that up. How they can maintain the pattern yeah. to such perfection is amazing because they're going down this way, right? I mean, most people couldn't draw something this nice, yeah. let alone weave it, you know? Mm -hmm. so, Incredible, and beautiful. This, and the true definition of the two gray hills, you have a black sheep, a white sheep, and a brown sheep. There's oh, no, interesting. no dyes in that one. It's just straight from the wool, the sheep. Oh, sheep. so the, these are originally the, the same uh, yeah. materials that you get right off the animal itself. Mm -hmm. yep. No need to process it. Man, this thing just caught my eye right there. Look at that horse. Yeah. Look at that. That's some incredible craftsmanship right there. Look at this wagon. Yeah, this is an old Civil War ambulance. Wow, is this, is this original? Yeah. So the war prisoners were inside. Are we talking the, the Union or the Confederates? That's a good question. So this is the man that established the trading post, right? Yes, depending on the artists, um, artists weren't too sure about the Navajos at the time. So John offered them a place for them to stay. So he didn't accept cash as payment, he accepted their artwork as payment. Oh, okay. So that's how he accumulated all this artwork. And did he have a good working relationship with the Native Americans at oh, that time? Sure. He did? Okay. Um, the reasons why he was so successful was because he was fluent in Navajo and he knew about the Navajo traditional ways. Oh. And then his sons also were um, really involved with the Hopi tribe and Navajo. Thanks so See much for guys. the tour. Really appreciate it. Thanks for working with us. Yeah. Enjoyed it. <laughs> All righty. We'll see you. government comes in obviously it's going to have an effect on the Native Americans that lived in this area we read about all of that in the history books and what happened as a result of that is many humanitarian Englishmen like the individual that started this one named John Hubble began to open up all these trading posts all over the Southwest 
going back to the 1800s at this point. And many would even travel from far away to get the specific goods they needed to help them survive here in the Southwest. You know, the thing that really put the Hubble trading post on the map was, as I said earlier, the working relationship that Hubble had with so many different nationalities. And I just want to go on record and say, every time I go to a national park, people are very friendly. I've enjoyed all the rangers. But these guys were over the top excellent. Extremely hospitable. Alonzo, my friend, I want to give you a special shout out. Thanks for much for showing me around, teaching me so much about the Navajo people. Really enjoyed the friendliness and cooperation from all the folks that worked here and to help make this vlog special. I hope you enjoyed this video. Appreciate you watching this to the end. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember, there's room for you in our next National Park Adventure.